Hey everybody, it's Gets 134 here. I'm Average Joe Squad. And welcome to another episode of Not Only Remember the Hyphen, but this year's Mo Bat Movember. That's right, all November we do all Batman all the time. Mostly so we can have time to film the Spider-Man stuff we're going to film for spidey Man. Martha! Why did you say that name? <laughs> Wait, your name, mother's name's Martha? My mother's name's Martha? You want us to come as friends? I don't know why my Batman devolves into Scooby Doo. <laughs> I couldn't hear a fucking word you said in the last one. Would you do it for a master, for a for a Bruce for a Wayne snack, Master Bruce? Run, 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 Ralphred. <laughs> but um, my weird my weird accent on Batman aside, <laughs> just just so for the record, we're real goofy right now because we just spent like. Ten minutes trying, trying to get to this started, this. and it just kept being us. The not, not help that I just showed him <laughs> clips from Black Devil Doll from Hell. <laughs> it just kept evolving into just complete shit posting. But so, if you want to see a really bad horror film this year, just look up Black Devil Doll from Hell, or its sequel, Tales from the Quad Dead Zone. But okay, so well, this year's Batman, uh, Batman Month. I thought we could talk about you know some things we don't. We didn't talk about before because last year's Bat Mo Bat Movember was just kind of something we did on the fly of our pants, sort of thing. Mostly because we we just wanted to talk about a bunch of Batman stuff. Um, I thought we'd talk about particularly since Tom King fucked it up, Batman's love life. Uh, specifically, the fact that he tried to have the marriage of Catwoman and Batman, and then he actually didn't. Which I, I know he's trying to fix in his Batman Catwoman. You fucking cock blocked me. To be fair, like, you know, I know as much as you, like, your OTP is Spider Man Mary Jane. To be fair, it's, it's mine as well. But yeah. for me in DC, one of the mine is Batman and Catwoman. And to be fair, that's why I wanted this, um, this to be about, basically. I wanted to kind of explain why, out of all of Batman's many love interests he's had, why Catwoman makes sense and why I think it's kind of bullshit Tom King set it up to happen, and then didn't. Fuck Tom King. He pissed on my wife. He says it was this big. I said that's disgusting. He said his miniseries was this big. big. And I said that's disgusting. That's well, me, shit. That's not even a story. I'm, so I'm calling, it out, calling you out on my Twitter.com. Tom, actually, to be fair, I, I shouldn't make Tom those jokes because he actually gets a lot of flack on Twitter about, I mean, kind of justifiably so because he tries to explain why his his story makes a lot of sense. And it, oh, so he, he, Dan Slot's it. Except Dan Slot goes looking for a fight. I was about to say, Tom King, it, for me, it's it's less ash holish than Dan Slot's. Or, like, with Tom, it's it's more like, no, 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 no you don't understand. Like, I, I got screwed over by, like... And if I actually... It's always, I got screwed. I got canceled. Well, to be fair, knowing what I know, what happened with Heroes in Crisis, he actually was kind of screwed over by, like, editorial and Dan, Dan DiDio. Mm-hmm. Because Dan DiDio is one of those people that believes Batman cannot be happy in order to be a, to be a good character. I disagree. Especially if you're a fan of the animated series or anything written by Denny O'Neill because Batman is actually kind of a decent person in those. Because, like, here's my thing about what sets Batman apart from other dark characters. And I think you'll probably agree with me. Batman has gone through a horrible trauma that has set him on this path. But he's not all that that trauma is. Like, he, he, like in order for Batman to be who he is and not the Punisher, he clearly has, I wouldn't say, moved on from his trauma. He's accepted what has happened to him and is using that as a tool to prevent it from happening to others. He does not want another eight-year-old kid to have watched some punk with a gun shoot down his parents in an alley for like a wallet and some jewelry like that is the whole point of Batman's crusade it's why he does all these charities and trying to make a better Gotham damn it why didn't he just turn into owl man I will deal with you in a second but like one of, my, one of those big things for me is Batman needs to find someone that I think accepts him for who he is and also understands that Batman is who he is. That, like there's no going back with him. Cause like Scott Snyder, for as much as I love him, he likes to write Alfred, like the Michael Caine Alfred, where he wants Batman to eventually stop 
being Batman, which what are your thoughts on the whole idea that Alfred would want Batman to stop being like, like do you think that like doesn't really make a lot of sense? Um, I mean, I, I think an Alfred I, should I, want I, him to, I think on some level, Alfred does want Bruce to eventually stop. But at the same time, I think Alfred realizes that like, if that happens, it's going to happen one of two ways. Either he's going to get hurt enough where he can't. And then even then he'll find a way to do it anyway. Or he'll be too old. Like, yeah. Like, or like B, Dark Knight Returns. He'll willingly <clears throat> put it aside for someone else to do it. Yeah. You know, but I think, I think Alfred realizes like either way, it's going to be his choice. It's not mine. Yeah. And it, it's, and but like, cause one of the things I actually like so much about his relationship with Selena is that Alfred's actually pretty okay with it. Yeah. Because he realizes, okay, and, and my, well, you know, we'll get into my thesis about why Selena makes the most sense for him. Um, so we'll, we'll start with the one, for me, it doesn't make sense for him to be with a woman that's not, you know, like, like a civilian, basically. Or like Vicky or... Like Vicky or Silver St. Cloud. Because what's going to happen to those women if someone finds out that Batman and Bruce Wayne are one and the same? Oh, they did. Yeah. Like, with Selina, she is a combat master. She's actually been trained in martial arts. She, um, one of her most famous martial arts masters is a man known as the Armless One, who taught her a very good fighting style based on her already natural abilities as Catwoman. Like, so like... Those two are already out, especially because, like, Silver St. Cloud gets murdered later on. Um, although, admittedly not because she, she's with Batman. is because of Joker in this book Bat Kevin Smith wrote called Batman Troya. I think it's Batman Troya? Well, it's a, it's a Kevin Smith Batman book. But basically, Joker at the end of, like, the last issue Kevin Smith wrote before he stopped writing it. Because Kevin Smith not finishing a comic book he does... Oh, I know. Shocker. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking... We, we wait, my one, congressman about that one. Wait, one of these days we review Batman... Or Spider-Man Catwoman, the evil that men do. That took him, like, six years to finish. Do you think when I showed you the, the version of it I got, you're like, you got the, the, the Marvel Select Edition of this? And I'm like, yeah. I only paid five bucks for it, man. It came brand new. I mean, it's hardback. I mean, to be fair, I, I don't mind the story, but, like... It's one of those stories where you can tell, like, he's changed as a person throughout writing that. Yeah. Particularly the the thing that's debated about what happens to Felicia in that book. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, like, and to be fair, I, I've read stories with Silver. I don't really find her that interesting. <clears throat> like, I, I think Vicky of the two of them is more interesting just because <clears throat> Vicky is an interesting character. But the problem with Vicky is that at least from a writer's standpoint, she's way too much like Lois Lane. Not helped by like later on they made her more, yeah. more kind Bruce of Bruce and Andrea's ODP fight my fight me. Well, I I'm more going with I know, the comic I mean, books, but I I, I like just, Andrea. I'm just you. Well, yeah, I I mean I like Andrea, and to be fair, I, Andrea fits the category I think for women that could be with Batman. Like they have to be able to protect themselves as much because like. Like, because like, the problem for me is if if a woman doesn't can't do that, Batman is going to be way too overprotective, and that relationship's just going to fall apart. Or again, they're going to end up dead. Um, but getting back to Vicky, I I like Vicky, but part of the problem is writers have kind of ruined her. Yeah, I remember you and I have talked about this. A yeah, because like before. they they've made her kind of like a sleazy tabloid writer who will do whatever it takes to get the story. Um, I know that was especially true during Batman Incorporated, where um, more or less Hush is pretending to be Bruce Wayne because he, you know, you, well you've you've played Arkham City. He steals people's faces and makes himself look like Bruce Wayne. Yes, I I played the tacked on quest in Arkham Knight. Um, and so basically, she thinks that like Bruce Wayne's like a murderer or some bullshit, and so or no, she knows that Batman and Bruce Wayne are the same person. So after defeating Hush. Batman uses him as a body double because, well, you know, he doesn't have to dress, dress dick up in a mask. But, like, basically, like, they had, like, because literally Vicky was going to get everyone in the Batman family killed if Bruce... Cause like, one of the reasons I think Batman still has to have a secret identity is because it's not just him anymore. Like, once his identity is outed... Who like who do you think they're gonna figure like figure out who's the who who is who in the in the bat, bat family members? They're gonna figure out like 
every one of his Robins are his wards or his son. Um, I think the only one they probably could get away with not being related is Barbara, just because, you know, like she's, she can easily be like, no, I didn't, I don't know who any of them are. I, you know, like, yeah, you know, I, I became Batgirl of my own volition. Uh, his cousin, <laughs> the other Batwoman, the other Batgirls. <laughs> Like, basically, everyone in his life will literally be have a target on their head after they figure out Bruce Wayne is Batman. Um, the other big f- one I don't care for is... I'm not a big fan of, like, every other supervillain that ba- they've tried to have Batman date, because he, he has dated a lot of them. Or, like, people like to ship him with, like, Harley Quinn. Like, I like Harley, but I just think there's too much... There's too much baggage on yeah, that one. Yeah, but, like, that wouldn't work out, especially because... I think Harley is much happier with the OTP you and I both like her with, Poison yeah, Ivy. Um, although, to be fair, I don't mind when people kind of write, like, there's, like, a like you know, maybe Harley's thought about it. Yeah. And she's like, I don't really, like, you know, maybe I, maybe, if if Mr. J can't have you, I have you, I will. <laughs> Which, I mean, to be fair, like, I, I liked in the animated series where I think that kind of made sense because, like, Batman actually wanted to help her. Like, the yeah. episode of Harley's Holiday where he buys the dress for her. You know, when he talks about how, like, he had a bad day, too, once. You know, and then she gives him that kiss, and I'm like, oh. Um, but, like, like, like comic book Harley, I just think there's too much baggage there. Especially because nowadays people have to write it that, like, Batman just absolutely hates her. And I, I don't really care for that. Because, like, as much as I know she's done horrible things, she's still technically a victim of what Joker's made her. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't really care for the idea of putting her with him with Ivy because like I get Ivy respects Batman as a person and like the only man she actually will put any trust into. It's just I don't I don't really you just don't really care for it. Well, I don't, I just don't think it works really well, especially because like 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 say Batman and her were to actually like the whole time Batman would be like, is this actually what I feel for her or is she like manipulating me with her pheromones? We all know Ivy in the, sw- in the fucking swamp thing. That's the real OTP. I mean, yeah, there there have been a couple times where I think they've tried having it that she wanted to bang the swamp thing. Um, a couple times where they wanted her to bang the Floronic Man, I'm like, you don't realize he's the reason she's turned into a walking vegetable, right? It's kind of gross that he did that to her. Um, I was trying to think of some of the other villains I've seen him get put with. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking I'm bringing up White Rabbit in my head, and I'm like, White Rabbit wasn't even really a character. <laughs> um, well, okay, let's talk about the big one, Talia Al Ghul. I'm sorry, I, I, I've never liked him, him and her's relationship. It was kind of okay when like she was introduced with Raish, but like Talia's just kind of been. Much like Vicky ran into the ground because now she's more or less the actual leader of the the yeah they kind of ru- I feel like they kind of ruined her character a little bit for that to really be a sustainable ship anymore yeah because like yeah because like one of the problems is what happens in every Ra- Ra's al Ghul adventure like well Talia betrays him yeah like Raish is causing horrible things Talia's like you got to stop him Bruce but then like down the road Talia's like I gotta go with my dad yeah and I'm like honey. There have been multiple times where he's threatened to kill you to make a point with Batman or has left you to die or has gone with some other woman that's not your mother and made you all these siblings that are either cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like her brothers, wants to betray your whole family like Nyssa. Nyssa? Yeah. Nyssa? I forget how it is. I think it's Nyssa. It's in, it's in Arkham Knight. Yeah, I think it's pronounced Nyssa. And to be fair, I'll take Arkham Knight's pronunciation because I get Raish's name right. Um... Just like just bad mojo in general with her whole family. I don't know why she is so loyal to them. Um, the other big one is the fact that she's killed Damien. Like, like when Damien's like, no, I don't want to get turned into my grandfather's new body, or I I'm gonna end up becoming running the League of Shadows. I don't want to kill people. And then Talia's like, well, now you gotta die. It's okay because I made clones of you. You're replaceable, Damien. Which frustrates me every time they bring his mother back and he wants her and Bruce to be happy. Because I'm like, there's nothing there, kid. What, so she can kill you again? I mean, I get it. Because, like, you know, regardless of 
all the horrible things. She's still his mother, I get. But, but like, that, and the fact that technically nowadays they, cons they consider that she was, she actually sexually assaulted Batman to get his seed to make Damien. Because, like, if any of you don't know, Damien wasn't carried to term. He was put into, like, a, like an artificial womb after a while, and I... It's, it's, it's weird pseudoscience. It's, it's, yeah, weird pseudoscience bullshit. Um, but, like, you, you would agree, right? Like, like there's, there's just too much baggage with Yeah, the... I... My thing is that when it comes to putting people together, like, or putting characters together, there... There's an acceptable level of baggage, and then there's, holy fuck, I'm stuck in the airport, where the sh fuck is my luggage, Yeah, like, type, type shit. Yeah, and like, with Tolly and Bruce, like, well, I understand the appeal, and I'm obviously not going to bag on anybody that no, likes no, the two. No, I, I agree as well. Like, if you, if you like anyone that I brought, bring up, feel yeah, free for, to. This for me, personally, it's just, there's so much baggage between those two that I don't think... I don't think there could be a healthy relationship between them unless there was a lot, I mean, a lot of fucking work. To say nothing of the fact that now um, Son of the Demon is a can is made canon thanks to Damien, where they got married and then she lost the child and then Batman just basically divorced her. I'm like, Batman don't do that. Batman wouldn't do that at all if he found out Talia lost the kid. Yeah. Like, th that would be the first blood relative he ever had. Like, the Batman I know wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's why I kind of hated that they made Damien canon, because, they, like, they they technically made that story canon by doing that. I mean, granted, Grant tried to alter it by, like, no, Batman knew she was she was sus the whole time. If this were a game of Among Us, Talia looking <laughs> sus. <laughs> Emergency meeting. Emergency meeting! Um, but, like, and it just it just gets old with Talia after a while because like I get tired of hearing her say beloved every other fucking sentence. Kind of the same with Raish. Like, I love Raish stories but every once in a while I just want to punch him in the mouth every time I hear him go detective 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 yeah. What's your favorite Batman comic uh, Raish? Detective um and probably so yeah like I I think out of all the villainesses that you could pair Batman with Catwoman makes the most sense. Yeah. The other shit that I know a lot of people are going to get on my case about is his shipping with Wonder Woman. And... Which, to be fair, I like. I, I do like. I just... I think a lot of the problems there is as much as, like, Wonder Woman is... And I, I know this is going to make me sound like a like a dick, but saying, like, like, the perfect woman. Which, that you know, that that is Wonder Woman. She is, like, the perfect woman. because she not deserve you, Diane. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> we really don't. We really, really don't. Because, like, she's kind, compassionate, can kick ass, and, like, is smart and wise and all that good shit. But, like, I, I'm like, Diana, I know you want some of that good dick. But, I, honestly, you should just stay back here, because, like, could do, You could do better. You you could do so much better, Diana. Um, Like, Laura Croft in those uh, fan pictures of That's, her and... Have you seen those? Yes, those I have. Great. I those. Those are great. I love those. Those are great. But, like, I... I love that, but here I think it's, there, again, there's too much baggage, but it's on Batman's side of it. Like, I just don't, I don't think Batman, I hate saying this, it, but like, I don't think Batman can stand being in a relationship where he's not kind of the stronger one. No, I, I can, I can definitely and I, and see I don't think, I don't think it's like, that. like a, like a dickish thing. I just think that it's more uh, coming down to Batman's like, I can't. I can't not be enough to protect you, basically. Yeah. And I, and I don't think, like, it's even something Batman thinks about. I think on a subconscious... It's like, yeah, like, it's like a subconscious, dude. Yeah, like, that... Because, like, I think with Catwoman, I think it works... Because, like, they're equals. It's kind of why, like, I get why people don't like Nightwing and Starfire together. Because, like, she's, she's so much stronger than Dick, and it kind of doesn't... Like, I think Dick works better with people, like... Well, I mean, right now, I like Starfire and Dick, but... I think with both Dick and Batman, like, uh, their partner needs to be on their level, which, Barbara. Yeah. Like, I get why people love putting them together. Although I, well, I'll talk about Nightwing some other time, but, um, but with Batman, I think that, like, like, that's just Damn, something. Damn, he just came back. Yeah. I know he did, but, like, this is about Batman <laughs> right now. But, like, 
like, you know, it even comes down to, like, Justice League, where, like, you know, that scene where they're on the roof, and Diana's, like, trying to get Batman to date her. Yeah. He's like, you know, you're a princess from an from an, from an ancient, for another, another org- like, race. I'm a rich kid with a lot, a lot of issues. A lot of issues. A lot of issues. And I, I think that would kind of come to the part where it would... I, I don't think it would end horribly, but I, I don't think that it would it would last. Because just... There's no... There's no trust between the two of them. And Batman, I think, commits the biggest sin with Wendy. He lies. A lot. Like, Selena, I think, can put up with... Like, will be like, don't fucking bullshit me, Bruce. Like, I want to know the actual truth here. But, like, with Diana and Bruce... it. it Diana just doesn't put up with that, like, because she's the she's the goddess of truth. Like, you 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 don't lie to her, <laughs> and I think that that would eventually be what would actually make that relationship not work. It's a fun thing to think about, because like I think it it has more to it than say Superman and Wonder Woman. That's mostly just because I think that people don't write it very well when super they put Superman with Wonder Woman. It's all about he's the strongest man. He's the she's the strongest woman. Not kiss. They, yeah, like like that. Whereas with Batman and Wonder Woman, I think Wonder Woman sees the great warrior and person that Bruce is, and she thinks that like, you know, she can make she can bring out the better person in him. The problem is, I don't I, like Batman doesn't think he can get better. Basically, in a sense, like he like he's like I'm I I can't not be what this is. Yeah, it, it's like when he talks to Vicky in the Batman movie. Like I don't there's I, this is just who I am. I can't not be Batman. Yeah. Like, would you agree with that about one? No, and I, I think that's a pretty good sum and of, of why, like I said, I mean, I, I certainly ship Batman and Diana. As do I. I, I want to iter- uh, iterate that. But like, I, I see where you're coming from. There, there are some issues to it. Yeah. Like it, as there are with any ship for that matter. And let's just get this out of the way. No, Batman and Batgirl. Is fucking horrible. Yeah, no, that doesn't no, exist. Like, no. The answer like, is no. A thousand times no. Well, Bruce Tim, put him in horny jail. No. I don't understand his obsession with the two I of them I don't fucking either. get it. Like, I don't like, either. Like, I don't don't get me fucking, wrong. I, I like I, I like hot redheads too, but yeah, I, I, I don't fucking get it. Because like, that's really all there is to say to it. I don't fucking get it. I don't want to fucking get it. Because like, for one thing, that's like his. That's like Batman's best friend's daughter. Like I'm, like I don't, I don't mean this because, like, like if, if if an older man and a younger woman that are of consenting ages and you know like fine, but like again, like Gordon is like his best friend, like one of the few people that Batman puts a lot of trust with. You know, all, Gordon already has to pretend that Barbara isn't Batgirl. That, like, every person he knows isn't a member of Batman's family. Like, imagine if Barbara had, like, not only came out and said, I'm Batgirl, but also I'm dating Batman. I'm pretty sure Gordon would try to kill him. Like, flat out murder him. But, like, like it's just too weird for me. Like, any of the Batgirls, it would be too weird. To say nothing of the fact that Cassandra and Stephanie are too young. Um, But, like... Yeah, um, and I I feel like you probably would try to argue the uh, the first Batwoman, not his cousin. Oh, Kathy. Yeah, Kathy. Yeah, because for those who don't know, Kathy Kane, the original Batwoman, that's from Earth Two. They're not related. I know the Kane thing uh, is the main canon now, where Kane is the cousin. Yeah. They are not related. Yeah, no, they they, they, they are, these are two separate women basically, and the other one wouldn't work anyways because she's gay. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, but basically, I. I don't know enough about them to say why I don't think that would work. Other than what, I, what Kathy and Bruce? Yeah, I I ship it, but I'm the first to admit I'm like, it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't last that long, especially because literally Batman only did it to prove he's not gay. Because yeah, no, D- DC did that back in the day. Yeah, like that was the whole reason Batgirl and Batwoman were created was because basically to make a long story short. Congress accused them of making not Congress. It was Congress, uh, the the seduction. Some, some some fucking stupid psychiatrist dude. Yeah, psychiatrist was like Batman. Batman, which I can't Dick remember his name right now. Lifestyle because but... Batman and Dick back in the day used to live in the like sleep in the same bed. 
which, yeah, which, like I said, I, I know that guy's name. I can't think of it, which is kind of sad because I wrote my thesis about yeah. how much he, he was full of shit. But, like, but like I, I don't know enough about them to say why I don't think that would work. Y- you do, so, like, I... I'll just agree with you and say, yeah, I don't, I don't get why, I don't think that it would work very well. That's mostly because I, I think Kathy would probably want to stop being Batwoman eventually, and her and Bruce would, should like settle down, have kids. Yeah. And Batman just can't be that. Um. So you got any? Do you got any man ships with uh, Batman? Personally, I think Superman could work, but uh, that's just because I think Superman's yeah. the only man strong enough to handle Batman. I'm not really into it, admittedly. So I'm not. I was mostly just not my thing. I, mean, I was mostly. I know, I know yeah. some people are into are into the the slash. I'm, to be, I'm just not. Then to be fair, I. Oh, if you like it, all the more power to you. I, a lot of slashers. It's like, oh, they're they're really good best friends. That must mean they're gay. Oh, God, they were roommates. <laughs> like that. That's like happens to you and me in real life. Everyone thinks you and I are gay. Yeah, which is like, <laughs> I find amusing. I find amusing, but. I mean, I, I think we're way too much messes to even, like, date each other. No offense. Yeah, no offense. I, um, but, like, like, I, like, Batman, I think, gets shipped with, like, every male member of the Justice League. Like, and I'm just, like, eh. but mostly I wanted to bring that up to segue into, do you think Batman and the Joker makes sense? No, don't no, even bring that shit no, up to me. No, no, I. Don't bring that shit, don't bring that shit I, in my house. Like I, I already don't he's like a fucking psychopath. Well, then I already, no. I already don't like the whole concept of well, he's evil and has like a homosexual thing with the with the main character. Sometimes that can kind of work, but like a lot of times it's just a way. Especially from the, with fanfic writers, they blow that up way, yeah. way, way out of proportion. Well, then, like I'm not a big fan of making it. Well, he's evil, so he must be gay and campy, too. Yeah, because to me, I'm like, so are you trying to say that like, gay people, gay are, people evil? are evil? Which is fucking Which, totally, not only extremely prejudiced and just fucking flat-out stupid. No. And to be fair, I don't, I'm not saying villains can't be gay, but like, it depends on the context of they, it. They can't be evil because they're gay. That's yeah, just that, not, that, 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 that's fucking stupid. That or like, they use it as a way to like unnerve the, ki- the hero, like with the Joker. Yeah. Um... Or- because personally, I I think Joker does that more not to be homoerotic. More, it's supposed to be like, oh, Batsy, who knows you better than me, sort of deal. Yeah. But like, so like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't pair Batman with the Joker. Um, I have seen people pair him with Black Canary, and I'm I'm kind of okay with that. I've seen that. It. I think that, not really that, a fan, but not really. Yeah, no, I, I, because personally, I'm, I'm, I'm so down with Ollie and Diana, or Dinah. <laughs> Dinah. <laughs> oh, die another day. Oh, Batman, you, you took, you took Pretty Bird from me. Well, I'm gonna go fuck Wonder Woman. <laughs> and now for the democratic response. <laughs> now for the democratic response. Hey, hey, Diana. I got a game. I got a game for, I play in the arcade. It's called Just the Tip. Jesus fuck. <laughs> But uh, to be fair, I like that as long as it's not being written by Frank Miller, where he writes her as like an Irish bartender, yeah. where Black Canary is like a Hooters. Although, admittedly, I, I'd eat out of Hooters if it was Black Canary themed. We gotta take Doug to Hooters. <laughs> we do. Um, he's, go- he's going to fucking Hooters. I don't so, care. Let, so I, I think we brought up enough of the like the the ones that make the most sense with Batman. So let's just get into why. I think you and I like Catwoman for Batman as much as we do. Yeah, I and I was explaining this to Jared earlier. Actually, uh, we this actually got brought up. Um, oh, cool. I I just I feel the dynamic between Selena and Bruce fits. Yeah. You know, you've got like you know the cat and mouse kind of deal. You yeah. know, where it's like it. They just seem to play off of each other really yeah. really well. Like whether they're. How it were at first, which was antagonist, and then later on it be, kind of became like, you know, like, you scratch my back, I'll scratch, scratch yours. yours. We fuck on a rooftop. You know, we, we go our separate ways. I go bathe in a thing full of milk. Dick gets traumatized for life. Dick gets he figures it out later. Life, yeah. Tim Tim has to get it has to get explained with, with pictures and diagrams because Tim is just too innocent. Uff. Jason is like, nice. Stephanie's memeing about it. Stephanie's memeing about it. <laughs> Cassandra's sign languaging, oh my fucking God, over and over. 
Barbara is just like, you fucked a supervillain? Because Barbara is team mom. Kane is just, Batwoman is just like, man, I wish I got to. Because, fun fact, when Batwoman first premiered, Selina hit on her like mad, as if to imply that Catwoman just can't help herself when it comes to a dude, a dude or a woman dressed like a bat. Mm. Oh, Loki, I'm I'm totally down with Selina being bisexual. Yeah, I, I think that fits the character. It, well, it's, it's just the approach they went with with uh, Harley Quinn TAS anyway. Yeah, I think I think it fits the character. Well, it's kind of funny. Both her and Black Cat have been <laughs> written as bisexual, sexy cat burglars. <laughs> Like, I'm like, is that just a thing? Marvel, write that down, write that down. Um, and, you know, I, I think part of, part of the reason it works so well is because it's such an easy dynamic. You know, you have the, the cop and the thief who are just drawn to each other because, like, you know, at the end of the day, both, like, they're not they're not hurting people that, like, hurt, like, in a horrible way. Yeah. Like, like nine times out of ten, Selena steals from people that either, A, can afford it or, B, deserve it. Like, some mob boss or some rich socialite that's clearly evil or you know but like the the whole chase thing kind of becomes like this romantic thing where the two of them you know can see just how like they they put they push each other back and forth like you said you know and, and to be fair like it's it's been done for ages you know like if i want to go like go back to probably one of the ones that it's based on the most it'd probably be well it'll even though it's not really as romantic although some people i'm sure probably do uh, Sherlock Holmes and Arsene Lupin, the gentleman thief. Um, you know, they, they were both a cat and mouse game and Lupin and Sherlock respected each other. You know, like, uh, probably one of the best quotes Arsene even says, like, you know, at the end of the day, we're like two neighbors on the opposite sides of a fence. You know, we could talk to each other but at the end of the day, you're sure you're on that side and I'm on mine. Although to be fair, I think Selena has mellowed out in her days. Cause like, she's not. It's not like how in the golden age where she was crazy. <laughs> or like the Tim Burton Selena where she's crazy. You know, she just, I steal shit or and the get Halle, off. Or the Halle Berry one where we she's don't fucking shitty. We don't fucking talk <laughs> about Halle Berry Catwoman. Yeah, I saw him. Don't you tell me it didn't Look, happen. I already find Halle Berry hot, all right? <laughs> I fucking sat through it, Adam. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me it, it didn't happen. <laughs> I played the game, Adam. <laughs> Don't you tell me it didn't happen. Colton, I'm scared you're hurting me. <laughs> Why'd you say that name? Someone's gonna meme this picture and be like, when you lean in for a kiss. <laughs> Shit, I got my phone. Um, oh, no, Adam. A kiss can be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Mistletoe can be deadly if you mean it. But a kiss can be deadlier if you mean it. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the day we get big enough people are fan art and that's like, oh, look at this shit. <laughs> No, because I don't want... Better be, better be some tasty oh, fan no, art, I've seen, I've seen fanfics of that kind of shit. I don't want to see fanfics written about us. <laughs> Remember the Hyper Dreams fanfic? No. Oh, Probably. no. Colton, why you locked me in the no. car? No. <laughs> oh. Adam, this is, uh, this is rated MC-17. But you you get what I mean, right? Like it, Is that dog in the backseat? <laughs> is that dog in the backseat? Is he eating hot dogs? <laughs> Raw? Raw? <laughs> Doug, I know you didn't even really care for him. Why are you fucking raw dogging them? But um, but you, you get what I mean, right? Because like, like Selena has not nearly been, an a villain in like, I want to say like three decades now. Yeah. If anything, she's more of an anti-villain or an anti-hero in a lot of regards. Um, a non-lethal protector. <laughs> um, that's one of the other things. Like, aside from a few, a few like times, she hasn't really broken the no-kill code. And also gets why Batman doesn't kill. Because she, like... I'm not a big fan of when people try to argue that... Selena would be like, why don't you just kill him? Yeah. Like, because if anyone gets Batman... It's her. Like, I always argue it's... That's why they work so well. They get each other. You know, Selena... It's like, like, let's start about, like, Selena's background. We'll, we'll, we'll use the post-crisis origin because... It's the one that I think is the most canon. Oh, you don't want to do New 52. Well, do, for New 52, her origin is... Oh, the, uh, again, that's... <laughs> well, I say that. Tom King had it that both Batman and Catwoman don't remember the first time they met each other. Batman remembers it like Batman number one, where he found her on the boat. 
Selena remembers it like Batman Year One, where she was a prostitute. And I'm like, you know, most couples actually remember how they first met. They they yeah. don't like, especially because it set up shit for Rebirth and Doomsday Clock. That's like, oh, see, they they both don't remember it right. Then Doomsday Clock went nowhere. Rebirth went nowhere. So then Bat- Catwoman's like, no, nah, it was the boat. Which I'm like, that still doesn't make any fucking sense. But basically, let, let's just go with the, the like, what, what I mean more is I like what her like origin. Basically, she was, you know, she was raised by her mother until her mother died because they were, they were poor. They, they didn't have a lot of money. You know, Selena got by by being a pickpocket for years. And then eventually, though, she, depending on who's writing it, either became an actual BDSM prostitute or just took the guise of a BDM prostitute and just tied people up and stole their money. I kind of prefer the latter because I, I feel like that's more in tune with Selena. Yeah, that, that, that seems a little more in character. That night, that, because, like, as much as people are like, oh, Adam, you, you, are you saying sex work isn't legitimate? I'm like, you did not read year one where she was working for a pimp that had Holly, a 13-year-old girl, as one of his prostitutes. That's why I don't like that. I also don't like it because Frank Miller can only write women as one of two things. Little girls who are pure, poly purebreds and whores. Like, that, that is his two writing styles. <laughs> like, that's why I don't like... Th- uh, yeah, I'm, it's, like, I'm also not a Frank Miller fan, so... Which, to be fair, I love Year One. That's, like, one of my favorite Batman stories, but the part where, like... Doesn't, he, doesn't mean you don't have criticism No, about it. because, again, like, I... I don't necessarily mind that because it explains the whip that she has... At the same time, I don't care for the way it's portrayed. I, I prefer later writers who are like, no, she that, w- that was a cover for her, and also so she could protect Holly. Like, because one of because one of the things I love in that is, you know the you know the scene where Bruce is pretending to be like a like a like a veteran and he you know starts fighting with her pimp. Because I love the part where she's like, she's talking to like one of her the guys that bought her for the night. And she's like, do you know why I don't like men, Frank? He's like, why, Selena? I never met one. And I, I like that idea that, like, Batman is, like, the first real man that, she, you know, because, like, he is a decent dude. Like, one of the what was one of the first things she ever witnessed him do? Rescued a cat from a SWAT team and from a burning building. So already, he likes cats. Already, that's, like, that's, like, one of the, the first things that Selena p- puts on her list of p- people are dating material. Has to like cats. Mostly because she's got thousands of them. Um, but, like, I think that works really well because, like, for Selena, I think he just hits all the right boxes. You know, he's kind. He's he's clearly into her lifestyle just as much as she's into his. They both clearly enjoy the same kinds of kinks. Like, I make jokes that Batman's a power bottom, but let's be honest, in that relationship with Selena... He basically oh, is. definitely. <laughs> like, like, Batman thinks he's the dominant one in their relationship. So, yeah. Selena, lets Selena, that. Selena lets him think that. And to be fair, Batman, I think, eventually knows and accepts that he's not the dominant one in their relationship. Just because he likes her. Um, it's one of the reasons why I like Hush so much. Like, they just finally are like, no. they Like, they both know each other's secret identities. They date. But, like... You know, like, and I think the other is just, as much as I don't like saying the father figure thing with her, because she didn't know her father, and the the most possible thing is that she's the the illegitimate daughter of the fault of the Roman. Um, I I think that there is a little bit of, and I'm not saying like she has like a daddy complex. I'm just saying that like, she, he represents a male authority figure. Like, if you're going into, like, psychiatry sort of thing, like, you know, he 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 accepts her for who she is, but he doesn't, like... Psychoanalyze. Psychoanalyze, and he doesn't, like... He doesn't let her go too far. Because sometimes, you know, Catwoman has been, like, you know, like, the, someone kidnapped Holly or something like that, and she's like, I'm going to kill him. And Batman's like, we'll get her back, Selena. I promise. Like, I, I think, because, like, both of them, I think, have had, like, moments where they had to reel the other back in. Uh, one of my favorites is a story by Brian Azzarello, surprisingly enough. I'm not really a big fan of him, but um, Batman Noel, which is basically a telling of uh, 
A Christmas Carol, but with Batman as Scrooge. The first go ghost that she he meets is Catwoman, and she's the ghost of Christmas past. Because this takes place, like, the Christmas after Jason dies. So Batman's a little unhinged. And I love it because she literally, like, makes him think he stole, she stole something. So he chases her along the rooftops. And then, but, but he gets really mad with her afterwards. And he's like, she's like, you know, I knew you were kind of upset about something, but I, I was kind of hoping, you know, we, we did our usual, I steal something, you try to catch me routine. Because like to her and him, that is their, a fun thing for them is that like literally Selena occasionally will not actually steal something. She just wants him to chase her. And I, I like the, the dynamic that neither of them actually know who has caught the other more and that sort of thing. Um, what, what are your thoughts about that? Like I said, I think, I think that's a pretty big part of their dynamic. And I think, I think it works really well for them. Like it's very in character, very in tune mm -hmm. with each other. And to me, it shows just, again, it shows how in tune they are with each other, which I think works really, really well. I think, I think also she's all, the, all, the only woman who's ever seen Bruce at his weakest and vice versa. You know, Selena herself tries to play herself up as being this tough as nails cat burglar. It's actually one of the things I loved about the uh, the Harley Quinn show, where like, she's like, pan, like Ivy plays up just how cool Selena is, and I'm like, yeah, no, that's that's the Selena everyone like she shows to everyone else. I think that both Bruce and Selena can show each other that they're you know at the end of the day both emotionally and like damaged people that have found a relationship that works for them. Like I, I don't think he has found that with any woman, even Talia. I think Bruce believed that Talia could be that for him, but like at the end of the day, like Talia's not. I, I think that, you know, like, like that is what makes their relationship work so much is that they're both willing to let the other in when they won't let other people. Like, like I think that's one of the reasons why Alfred is so approving of, of Selena because Selena got under his cape more or less like that, like that, that sort of thing. And I, I, I think that, like she, like, she did so in a way that earned his trust that no other woman has ever done in with Batman and his... Yeah. Certainly more than Rachel. <laughs> but, like, he's, like, one, one of my favorite parts of Arkham City is the interview tapes with, with her and how Strange really does get, like, you know, you, you act like you don't care for people, but you, you have this young girl, and then, of course, there's also your relationship with Batman. You know, and, like, she tries to pretend that, like, you know, like, the, the, nothing, the, the, there's nothing going on between the two of us. Except that, like, the entire Arkham series, you know that there's something going on between the two yeah. of them. It's why the ending, I, I hate the ending of Arkham Knight so much, where he's like, I'm breaking up with you. I'm like, no, come on, dude. Just because Bruce Wayne has to die doesn't mean your sex drive has to die. Like, you know, you just... Wish I'd, I'd seen you in a, in a little restaurant Oh, in my fucking God. I wouldn't say nothing, just, just enough to know you were happy. For the record, I don't like that version of Selena at all. No, I know like, you don't. We've already talked about that way, way too much. Like, it just, it, like, because, like, that Selena is not the Selena I like. I admittedly, I, probably a lot of my bias for Selena is also because if I were Batman, that'd be who I'd pick is Catwoman. <laughs> um, what would probably be your favorite version of uh, Batman and Catwoman? Oh, it's got it's got to be Halle Berry, man. That's my favorite. I said Batman <laughs> and Catwoman. I was saying you just bitch slap me. Um, because for me, I I'd probably that say that one's better. I'd probably honestly say uh, I I really love the Arkham games portrayal of their relationship. I really like them in Arkham as well. Um, I really like how they are in TAS as well. I do, but that their relationship frustrates me because like. It, it doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really I, go I wonder anywhere. how much and of that is because of the, the network sensors. Probably. Like, I, like especially because she doesn't show up in the Beyond show. And I feel like that's kind she's of... She's only, a, like, mentioned. Yeah, she's only mentioned. I'm like, I don't really think that, like, well, Bruce doesn't... Of course, they were going to do the thing originally with with the ending where it was Terry was actually Catwoman's kid. And, oh, that would have actually been way better than them having to... Terry was actually Bruce's kid the entire time, and... Selena had given him up for adoption. Because, um, fun fact. There's, that's at least a draft of it I read somewhere. There's a whole video on that. Because, fun fact, everyone knows about the Golden Age daughter of Batman and Catwoman, the original Huntress. Yeah. At one point, they were going to try and make 
that version, that Helena canon again. In the 90s, Catwoman got pregnant. We didn't know who the father was. I say we didn't. They heavily imply who the father is. Can you guess who the father is? Bruce. Because, like, she she gets pregnant and Batman doesn't see her for a long time. And then basically something happens and, like, she, I think complications with the baby. Like, she does have the baby, though. I will. It, I Like, not, not like, oh, like, the really rough miscarriage. Like, yeah. basically she, she goes into, like, a coma for a little bit. I forget exactly why. I, it, it's been forever since I read I read this. It was like in a Wikipedia page. But basically, Bruce goes to her as Batman, and he thinks she's a, she's asleep. And basically, Bruce kind of all but implies that he knows that he's the father. And like he like he's like you know I I, I want you to know I will do everything I can because I basically he she finally wakes like stop like wakes up and is like let's not let's not make this ship happen way too fast. But basically, you know, like, Bruce was literally going to basically all but say, I love you, more or less. And she has the baby. It's a girl named Helena, which I think is where everyone realized, yeah, this is because it's Helena Wayne. Unfortunately, she realizes I'm, like, I think she tries to keep the baby for a little bit, but, like, basically something happens where she has to be Catwoman and nearly dies, so she she gives the, do- the girl up for adoption, basically. And it's, it's... It's rough, like, from what I read about it, because I'm like, that actually is way too sad. <laughs> That's really sad. Um, but, yeah, like, so I, I think at one point they actually wanted to at least, but, like, unfortunately this was before Grant Morrison did it, so I think they were like, we cannot let Batman have a kid. It ages him. Which, again, I, I hate this argument, because, like, having a child does not age Bruce. Having, like, five Robins, one of which is a grown man that's now his own superhero, ages Batman. Yeah. Like, if you really wanted... (coughs) (coughs) Sorry. He's got the Rona! I don't have the Rona, I just talked too long. Um, Like, like him having a a daughter, or like a kid with Selina, would not age him. Especially when he already has Damien. Um, what, uh, speaking of that, what, what, what do you feel like, uh, would, like, would Damien be, like, a breaker of that relationship, or do you think that, like, they could make it work in spite of Damien? I think they could make it work. I mean, especially because it seems like Damien and Selena have a kind of okay relationship with each other. Yeah, especially because, like, Damien is, really loves animals, so I feel like him and her would get along with kitten, with cats. Uh, I, I didn't want to talk about fan fiction too much in this, but... I like this one because it kind of, in my opinion, would actually legitimately work if it were real. Basically, Damien goes on a solo patrol on his own, which is a thing. I don't know why they let the nine-year-old go off on solo patrols. Probably because he can kill anybody he would want. If he, I mean, he shouldn't, but basically he comes across like a bunch of abandoned kittens. So, you know, he D- Damien being the, ki- the kid who has like three different pet dogs, bat cow... A giant goblin creature that he got thanks to his mother messing with um with the bat the bat uh, the man bat formula to create this weird giant bear gargoyle thing that he had for a while. I can't even remember what it was named. I don't even think it exists anymore because I think it died. It's it's still around. I've seen comics. Oh yeah, because I, um, I know it it showed up in Super Sons. It's in Beyond too. Yeah. Um. But basically, like, Damien loves animals. Like, that's actually one of the few redeeming qualities I like about Damien is that despite he he willingly kills people left and right, and Batman's like, well, don't do that again, Damien, or you'll you'll get a timeout. Um, like, but basically the story, you know, he rescues the kittens. There's, like, I think three or four of them. And he's trying to hide them from Batman because he's like, there's no way Father will let me keep any more animals. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is, this is taking place during the, the time when, you know, Selena was going to marry him during the events of Tom King's run. Selena's like, hey, kitten, I told you not to call me that. Sorry, kitten, what do you got there? And then, of course, you know, Selena being who she is, well, she basically reacts like you when you see kittens. She's just like, yes, bits. And, but I love it because, like, basically, (laughs) what what about about somebody said, did I, not to interrupt, but I ever tell you about this? My buddy Colin, his gra- he house sits for his grandma a lot, okay? Mm-hmm. And when he does, we usually go over and hang out. Yeah. 
His grandma has this really fat ass cat named Jack, <laughs> called Jax, basically. Yeah. And Colin hates this cat with a passion. Yeah. He's like, no, this cat is so fat. He doesn't want to go down the stairs. He wants me to pick his ass up and carry him. Oh, he's a Garfield cat. It, well, like, it, he, he, Colin, because Colin's allergic to cats. Naturally. So Co- Colin is like, no, I don't like this fucking cat. But every time we go over, every time, every time Colin's like, it was like, no, man, like, listen, I got beer, I got pizza, I got a fat-ass cat for Colton to fucking snuggle with tonight. Because <laughs> yeah, this cat loves me. Like, every time I've gone over there, like, I'll be sleeping on the couch, and it'll just, like, <laughs> it, it, like, claws itself up, and it's like, no, Cause I'm it's sleeping. Because so, it. it's so fat, it can't leave, so it has to fucking crawl. It's, it, it just, uh, it, it's just like, I'm sleeping with this guy tonight. To be fair, I could I, I, I probably would adore the giant fat cat myself, but, but basically, Selena's like, don't you worry. I know how to get your father to get... Not not saying what she basically. I I like the idea that like that would be what like in like like gets Damien on Team yeah. Selena because like basically she would let him keep all the cats, all the cats. Yeah. Um. But like, like because like I I always hated like because there, there's a story where literally Batman has to go basically sign divorce papers with Tali because technically they're married because of Son of the Demon, but like they, it wasn't like. In official marriage, because it was done, like, in whatever... It was an eloping or whatever that well, was. Well, then, it, w- it was done, like, like, you know, to, like, the traditions of race's original nationality. Yeah. So, technically, U.S. courts don't see it as an actual marriage or whatever. And which leads into this weird scene where it implies that, like, Talia had, like, a massive fucking orgy then killed all the people in the room. And I'm like... Okay. Then. Okay. But, like, basically, like, Damien gets all upset because, like, he's like, no, it's my fault. Mother's going to kill you and dad because I I, I rejected her and th- this is all my... Like, and I'm like, Damien, it's because your father can't keep it in his pants is why, why this is happening. Not because of you, for once. Yeah. But, like, I, I just think that it would make sense because I feel like Selena could be much better of a mother to Damien... Because like I don't think I think a lot of people think that Selena doesn't really have the capabilities to be like in a family, and I'm like, no, I don't. I don't really yeah, think I, I so. Don't, I don't, like I don't subscribe. Especially because like especially because like part of the reason Selena is the way she is because she's lonely, because she constantly pushes people away. Except Batman doesn't let her push him away. <laughs> he's like because he's like no, I I know what you're doing here, Selena, because I do it too, and you can't push me away. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Now take off that costume. We're gonna fuck on this rooftop. Cause let, let me tell you, you can always tell. Is your light coming back on? Yeah. Okay. But um, but basically, like you know, like as you can tell, which rooftop Batman and Catwoman have fucked on, because you know, usually there's diamonds and shit sprinkled all over because they wanted to fuck on top of diamonds. Which I'm like. Wouldn't be really that comfortable, no matter what die another day tells you. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, I, I I just think that their relationship is so interesting, just because like I think at the end of the day, like much like Peter Parker and Mary Jane, like the reason they work so well is because they both provide what the other needs. You know, Batman is is he he wants her to be with him, but he doesn't want her to change who she is, and vice versa. Like, because I, I think too many, too many love interests for Batman want him to stop being Batman, and that's just not possible with who he is as a character. You know, like, like any time I've ever seen Batman stop being Batman is either because a he dead, he too old, or he's got oh a, you're just gonna break my back and not say anything. <laughs> yeah. But also, Catwoman didn't fuck Bane like Talia did. I won't talk about that. Yeah, which also kind. Of, she fucked Jason too, by the way. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, like like after Jason got brought back to life, she fucked him. I'm like, let's not talk about that. Ew. Nobody, nobody wants to talk about that. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to. Everybody, talk about everybody disliked that. No, like everybody did this like that. They were like, they were like, <laughs> it's like Fallout. Everybody disliked that. <laughs> well, because it's like, wh- why? Why did they fuck? Doesn't make any sense. Well, yeah. Like I get why she fucked Bane, but like, it's because I was born there. Oh. You're turned on by my sexy voice, are you, Talia? I hear no deed is too evil or low for the League of Shadows. You're in an order that might surprise you. Well, that, 
on that fucking note, I think we've we've well, covered. Yeah, do you want to give your your thoughts on a uh, like your your final thoughts on our, our little uh... yeah? Just like I said, I'm I'm definitely with you in the Selena Bruce camp because just like I said, I I feel like they've been around each other for so long. I've, I've seen a lot of each other in more ways than one. <laughs> that was just <laughs> that was what I was. But doing. um. But like I, I feel like at the same time they've they've definitely evolved with each other, and I think this yeah. they, they kind of fit with each other a lot better than a lot of the other people people like people that ship this yeah. with. Because like if we if we do this for Mary Jane and Peter, I think you and I would both agree that it's also the same for Peter and her. And yeah, Jay, they both they both evolved. And I mean, so I ship much. Peter and Gwen pretty 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 hardcore as well with those. We, it's the Mexican Gwen Stacy because of that. No, uh, <laughs> that, no, that, that thick ass. No, stop. <laughs> no, I know. Why you do this? Honestly, it tickles me. Just like some boss power riches. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, just for that, we're, I'm gonna buy that fucking film. It's only like four bucks, and we're gonna fucking watch it and review it. You're, you're fucking lying. You you won't waste four dollars on that. You can wait. Oh. That, that, that's four dollars you can put towards a transformer. Don't you fucking oh, lie to no. me? I got four dollars. I can put towards some fucking spite for you, motherfucker. <laughs> no, you don't. Four dollars is easy you enough lie spite. To me. You lie to me. I might like you lie. Like low key, I might because like I kind of want to watch it and do a review because I want to point out why I don't think it's as good as a lot of people say it is. So. But anyway, on that note, I guess I think it's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Yeah. So. Tune in next week for some more of Mobat November. And if you want to talk about uh, why you think we're we're a bunch of fucking idiots for our reasons, you know, you can put them in the comments. These guys are fucking clueless. <laughs> How could you guys not know that was Cheetah in the Wonder Woman trailer? You would be a fucking idiot not to know that. Well, I still can't believe that guy. No, I know. Even, even either. months later, I can't believe that guy. But, but anyway, guys, come back for more Nova November. But until then, I'm Zongetsu134. And I'm Average Joe Squad. And as always... We, we ask, ask you, you to remember, remember the hyphen, hyphen and, and take, take care. care. And tell me where the other jokes are going.